Thank you for attending this session on Effective Tools for Requirements and Concept Development. In this session, we'll be discussing the Triptych tool set that's in within the SDI Tools version 3 software, and more specifically, we'll be discussing the Affinity Diagram technique and the tool that's available for use within this tool set. The SDI tool set includes tools like Triptych, Apogee as the two primary tools, and also support tools like Reliability Test Design, Distribution Explorer, and PNC Test Effectiveness Calculator. In this session, we'll be discussing the Triptych tool set and the Affinity Diagram tool that will support the collection of information and organizing information that can support product development activities. The Triptych tools contain three categories of tools that support the voice of the customer, innovation, and design selection. At the beginning of any pro product development or problem solving activity, we must first understand what the problem is that needs to be solved, collect information or ideas related to the solution of this problem, and then identify the various needs and wants that will need to be um, uh, used to develop the, uh, the primary solution. From after this information is collected, then we continue through the process of prioritizing information, uh, defining what's and how's, understanding the relationship of how we plan to solve the problem to what we were asked to go do, uh, create alternatives, uh, collect information related to criteria to help us determine the best approach, select the best approach, and then start your risk identification. So in this session, we will be discussing the affinity diagram technique, which is at the beginning of a lot of problem solving activities. In an affinity diagram session, you begin with defining a problem statement, then a listing ideas from your stakeholders, identify groups that these ideas may can be organized in, and then affinitize the ideas into these groups. Now the classical affinity diagram sessions involve writing information down on pieces of paper, uh, collecting these, organizing them, and then put them into groups uh, where other pieces of paper are added to this that would identify the categories that each of these groups of ideas fall into. Well, these methods are very effective, but they can be cumbersome, and then it's how do you uh, maintain and archive the information and make it available to others to use once you've collected this. So what we're going to be demonstrating to you is an electronic means by which you can create your affinity diagrams and uh, collect the information, organize it, then you have it captured, you have it documented, and now you can very easily communicate it with others in the uh, product development team. So let's go launch a, a session. I mean, we're going to begin this in Microsoft Excel and we will open the uh, Triptych tool sets and the Triptych tool set will contain various tools that we can use at the front end of the product development activity. The uh, toolbars for Triptych will either be on your desktop or they'll be located within the ribbon that is available within uh, Excel 2007 or 2010. At the beginning of any session using the Triptych tools, we'll go to the new worksheet icon that's in the uh, Triptych toolbar, identify whether we'll be addressing voice of the customer, innovation, or design methods, and we will go then open, uh, select the tool we want to use. In this case, we'll go to voice of the customer. We're going to be looking at affinity diagram techniques. We'll click OK, and we will have an affinity diagram worksheet that will be created for us within our workbook. The first step in the Affinity Diagram process is to define our problem statement. So we'll go to the uh, Affinity toolbar, click on the first icon to add and modify our problem statement, and we'll simply just type in the problem that we'll be addressing in this uh, session. And so I'll uh, just put in a very uh, generic uh, problem statement is uh, how to uh, create an Affinity Diagram. Okay. And then we can add this to our uh, workbook worksheet. Now then we can also, well, you can see, change the uh, style of the font. You can change the uh, size of it, the alignment, uh, bold or italicized. You can change the font color or the background color using the uh, color palettes that are available uh, within the, uh, each of these editing windows. So now that we have our problem statement identified, we can start collecting ideas 
uh, that have been collected in a previous session or within uh, the members in this meeting that are participating in this uh, problem solving session. So we can once again go to the Affinity Diagram Toolbar. We'll click New Idea and we'll uh, type in the uh, text for our idea. And I'll do this very generically since we're mainly looking at, at how to use this tool to support uh, your Affinity Diagram uh, techniques. So we'll add this idea and then we can continue uh, creating ideas that we get from uh, uh, those uh, participating in this session. Uh, we can edit the text. We can just click the Add button to continuously add new ideas. Uh, you also notice that you have the capability to uh, change the uh, style of any given um, uh, yellow square that has the idea in it. You can change the, uh, the background color of, uh, of this uh, note square, idea square, and then you can uh, and continue to add this information as you uh, desire. So I'll stop here with these six ideas that we've collected from our team. I'll close the uh, Add Idea window and then we'll start looking at the ideas and saying, okay, what groups would I arrange these in? So what we're going to start with now is identifying the groups that we're going to use to affinitize the information into. So I'll go to the new group icon on the toolbar and uh, we can uh, type in our, uh, the name of our group. I'll just make this uh, group A and add it. And we'll make the next one uh, group B add and then group C. Okay, so we'll stop with these three groups and you can continue to add uh, groups to your desire depending on the, you know, the space you want to use in your worksheet here. So once we've completed this, we'll close the uh, add group uh, window and now we need to start moving the ideas into the respective groups that we believe that would form the uh, uh, focus areas for uh, this particular problem that we're addressing. So to move the groups, very simply just uh, go to an idea and click on it and it will get a, a red border placed around it. And then we can go to the toolbar, click on the idea or the icon for moving selected ideas. And we'll move this one to group A. Okay, and I'll uh, move these. Okay, and it will be placed in that group. Now we can take and select an individual or multiple ideas that are remaining. I'll click two ideas in this case. You can use the move icon in the toolbar or you can right click in the workspace and get to the move icon. We'll move these to uh, group B and then we'll take the remaining three ideas and then I will select those and move these ideas into uh, group C. Okay, And now that they're uh, moved you can uh, and notice that they're all overlapped on each other. Just conserve your uh, workspace while you're creating your affinity diagram. You can click the uh, little add expand text at the bottom and expand individual groups. You can collapse the groups and then you can also use the expand all icon in the toolbar to expand everything at one time if you desire to do so. Uh, so you can expand or collapse um, in all, all the groups or do them individually. There's also uh, options to go change the size and spacing of the ideas. You can change the size and spacing of the groups or the uh, size of your problem statement. So you can edit this as a desire to uh, capture your information. The um, other thing we can do with this is once you have it in your affinity diagram, it's now uh, documented. You save this as an Excel worksheet and you can now uh, provide it to others within the team. Anyone that has Excel can view the information. It only requires the uh, triptych tool set in order to add to or edit the, uh, the actual worksheet. Now then, how do we use the Affinity Diagram uh, information after you have uh, completed this session besides just for documentation? Well, a lot of times this is the information you're going to use to start developing requirements. Okay, so you can look at these as needs of the stakeholders. You can look at it as the watts that may be uh, used in the next step in your, if you're using quality function deployment. So one thing we can do is go to the triptych toolbar and we can flow down this information to another level. So by clicking on this, now we see kind of an outline form of all the information that's in the current affinity diagram. You can select information as you desire 
and then you can move that information to other tools within the Triptych software package. So you can move the selected information to an AHP for prioritization. You can move this into uh, certain fields within QFT and is either Watts or House. Or you can move it into any of the design selection tools such as Pew, Topsys, or the SDI method for design selection and move this information in as criteria or options uh, within uh, uh, these individual tools. So uh, various options available uh, where you can use the information in your affinity diagram in subsequent sessions so you're continually adding value uh, to what was produced in this session. Okay. So uh, this is the affinity diagram technique and how you can utilize it using the triptych tool set. And you can see that you've gone from the uh, you know the uh, the manual collection of information to an electronic version of it which where you've captured documented and can now easily communicate this information with others in the development team so you can see that we've uh, created this worksheet within a Microsoft Excel environment very simple user interfaces and uh, just the format of the information really does promote information sharing with other Excel users very easy to add ideas, add, add groups, delete ideas, delete groups. You can uh, do your own custom cell and font coloring and formatting with the tool. Uh, you can uh, very easily uh, edit this information and flow it down to uh, from the affinity diagram tool to other tools within the triptych tool set. And all the functions are very easily accessible from toolbars or from using the available uh, right click menus. So in summary, the, uh, this uh, tool within the Triptych toolset provides techniques for collecting and documenting information early in the development process or basically at any time within your development process or as part of a problem solving session. Uh, you've seen also how we can take the information and move it into other tools to support the prioritization of information. Uh, we can use it as a beginning point of translating needs into requirements, possibly using QFT techniques. Uh, we can uh, use the information and move it as uh, supporting information for evaluating design alternatives and, uh, and other activities on your program. So basically the uh, basic benefits are is that you can support a lot of product development, system engineering, and design for Six Sigma tasks uh, using this technique, organize information, promote the information sharing opportunities, uh, just enhance your productivity of using established and proven methods as, as part of your, uh, uh, your problem solving sessions and development activities. And use it at any level of the system, the product, or process uh, that you may be addressing. So I want to thank you for attending this uh, tutorial session on the use of the tri Affinity Diagram tool that's available within the Triptych tool set. Uh, if you want to download the tools, you can do so by going to stat-design.com. If you want to contact me concerning the use of the tool or availability, uh, please send me an email, give me a call, and I'll be glad to uh, address your questions and discuss your potential applications with you. So thank you very much, and I uh, hope that you will uh, attend and uh, listen in on, on other tutorial sessions in the SDI tools. Thank you.